like we told people to believe in God and like trust in Him and come to church and enjoy it. Mm -hmm. <laughs>
exam to, to further her education. And um, she's literally spending about eight hours a day studying and studying. So I'm trying to watch my grandson and help out with that. And when she learned of the festivities first, um, I said, I went home one day and I said, I volunteered you to work the first aid booth Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday night. I hope that's okay. And she's like, oh, of course, yes, yes, I want to do it. Well then, I think a couple of nights ago, she says, she, she heard us talking and she came to church Sunday and she says, I want to go out. I want to go. I want to oh, go. Man. And so I said, great. And so she went with us and we were fortunate to be on Pastor Bev's team, so we watched it first. I think we were maybe two, two people in. And um, we were walking in this direction and we're looking for someone, someone else to go up and offer a water or to minister to. And from behind us, this gentleman seems to have appeared from virtually nowhere. Um, we had some discussion among ourselves as to whether he was an angel or not, really, because he just was there all the time. And um, he had a, a, um, a device to, to help him avoid death. And he shared a story with us that he was in the Twin Towers when 9-11 happened. Mm -hmm. And as a result of that, he had you know, some lung damage mm -hmm. and, and he, he got cancer. And we were able to pray for him and pray with him and give him a water and invited him, of course, to come back. And as he was walking away, well, my daughter just shared with me as I was sitting back there, she says, Mom, when I held his hand and we were praying with him, my hand started tingling. It got like hot and my hand started tingling. And she said, earlier today when I was praying, she had a real rough time studying today, and she says, when I was praying, I asked God to let me have an encounter with him today. <laughs>
abundantly and overflowing in the name of Jesus. If you receive it, say, I receive it in Jesus' name. One more time, say, I receive it in Jesus' name. Come on. Hallelujah. Give God the glory. Hallelujah. Let me say something with you. Sometimes we got to get through it to get to it. We went through some things in our lives. Hallelujah. To get to this point in our lives. Glory to God. And guess what? Stepping out boldly with, with God on our side, doing His will and His work. Hallelujah. This is a blessed day. God got saved. Oh, hallelujah. People got prayed over. But glory to God. I went out with um, with um, 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 like I said, you got to get through it to get to it. And God placed us there for that man to give himself to Christ. That's another gem in heaven. And just for that alone, I'm blessed. I'm blessed. So keep on keeping on, guys. And keep, keep praising him. Keep blessing him. Bless the Lord. Minister to the Lord. Minister to those people that you run into. And watch. How it's going to come back on Monday fall. If you receive it, say amen. Yeah. Amen. Hallelujah. I got to tell you, I got to do it on They were right next to us. So we didn't stop. They were just one after another. Anybody in our way, they could not get away. Unless you ran the opposite way. You could have crossed over the street and ran. You know, cut you off. So, uh, yeah, it was five. <laughs> so let's do it. Anybody else? Please, come on. Please. Okay. Amen. Come on. Man.
I'm bilingual and I was able to speak to the Spanish people that I'm going to hear.
Amen. And Jesus Christ died on the cross for us. Amen. And he died for our sins and our mistake, mistakes that we made. And I am a really big fan of him. <laughs> Thank you. 
Well, on Second Street, we went, there was only like one person in there, and everybody started coming in. They just, they just, yeah. <laughs> I mean, we were walking down, and we'd turn around, and we'd be like, well, there's another one, and there's another one. So we just kept going back and, um, and have conversations, and, and Tata and uh, her niece was with the, with the family, and, and John was with the family, and uh, Henrietta was with another, and we were just talking. And we started, we all started gathering together with this one, it was a daughter that came on, a young girl came out, and um, so we gave her water, and we went up the conversation, and then the mom, and, and all the other kids came out, and um, we asked if we could pray for her, and uh, she said, yeah, and, um, and we asked if there was a special need, and, and her husband went to jail. And she wants, you know, he wants to come out. And the life that God has brought me through, what Arturo said, you gotta go through it. I just opened the door to you. Jesus just reminded me of where I was and what I came through, That's what right. he brought me through, what he brought me through, and I just yeah. opened yeah. up yeah. and started sharing with her. And you can see that the family was able to pray with me. We were able to pray with the family, and it was just, she had hope. Amen.